That is a very good question as well. He's asking uh, heavy versus light tackle, what is the difference? Uh, and that is a good question to bring up. It's a good thing to cover because so often that's a misconception. Um, for example, the 12 hour extreme trip. We got this new hydrofoil assisted catamaran at Hubbard's Marina called the Flying Hub 2. It goes around 40 to 50 miles an hour and it takes you out to the middle grounds, elbow and surrounding areas to fish for truly monster fish. And we tell people, bring heavy tackle. On the website, heavy tackle, six or nine aught reels. And people show up with four aughts with 50 wanting to catch a 90 pound amberjack or a 40 pound grouper. It's like, come on, man. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't bring my big tackle with me because I was out fishing uh, for hogfish just recently, so I don't have the big stuff with me. But to give you an idea of big tackle, to me, big tackle means at least the six odd. But generally, when I'm fishing for an amberjack or I want a 20, 30 pound grouper, I've got a nine odd reel, or at least like an 80 wide reel, and at least 80 pound to 100 pound mainline, and at least a 100 pound leader, if not 125, or as much as 225. I fish for, uh, I fish for Amberjack with 14 knot hooks and a four pound piece of bait and a 150 pound leader, an 80 pound braid with a 125 pound mono top shot on a nine knot reel and a rod that looks like a broomstick. And then you put the wench on your back, you set that thing on the rail, put your leg up on the rail and crank them in. It's a lot of fun, but big tackle means big tackle. And when you have big tackle, you have big baits. Because when you have a, a hook like this, you've got to have a big bait. So that way that hook isn't hanging out the side of the bait. Uh, Howard's got an example of a six-aught right there. Uh, that's a six-aught reel, so that would be your minimum. That would be a small big tackle setup. So that's a six-aught. You've got like a four-aught up here. This is also considered a 40 or 50 wide. So it really just depends on your definition of big tackle, but to me, big tackle means nine odd reel, 80 to 100 pound main line, 100 to 150 pound leader, 10 to 12 odd hook. Generally, when I go offshore fishing, for example, on our 39, our 44 hours, or our 12 hour extreme, where I'm going fishing with my buddies on the Flying Hub 1 or the Flying Hub 2, and we're going out to deep water, I bring three different setups for bottom fishing. My three setups for bottom fishing, uh, the first one I bring is my favorite. My two speed uh, reel with about a four to six ounce sled and your double snell five to six aught J hooks. And this would be 40 or 50 pound main line with the 40 or 50 pound leader. Leader's always fluorocarbon. Uh, main line generally what I use is braid with a long monofilament top shot. The rule of thumb on that is about two thirds of your line in the water should be monofilament. So if I'm fishing 120 foot of water, I'm gonna use a majority braid so that way I have the sensitivity and the real capacity for big fish. But then I top it with monofilament, or in this case, thank you dogfish tackle for the fluorocarbon top shot. And I use around maybe 120 foot, so I'd be using around 60 to 70 feet of monofilament top shot. And then for snapper, I'd be using about a four and a half to five foot fluorocarbon, 40 to 50 pound leader with around a six, six aught J hook. For anything that sits there and nibbles at your bait, I use a J hook and a faster reel, a two speed reel. That way when I feel that bite, I can start cranking and set the hook home. The two speed reel is great when I'm fishing for a snapper. The reason why, a lot of times uh, back a few years ago when I was doing seminars, Someone would ask, hey, do you need a two-speed reel? I'd say no. Well, nowadays, two-speed reels have gone down in price. You can pick a reel like this up for around 300, 350 bucks, and that's not too expensive when we're talking fishing tackle, especially a two-speed reel. A few years ago, that same reel would have been like 700. So the thing about a two-speed reel is when you're in high-speed gear ratio, I'll show you, see where my lead is? I'm going to do one revolution of my reel. Uh-oh. <laughs> I caught something. <laughs> All right. We'll try this again. All right. See where my lead is? I'm going to do one revolution of the reel. 
See how much that lead moved up? Now I'm going to put it in low speed and do the same thing. One revolution of the reel. See how much less that moved? This is a 6 to 1 gear ratio high speed and a 3 to 1 gear ratio low speed. So basically what that means is the higher the gear ratio, the more line I'm pulling in with every revolution, which means more speed, less power. The lower the gear ratio, the lower the speed I'm reeling in, but the higher the power. So the benefit of a two-speed reel when I'm snapper fishing is I've got my 40-pound test, I've got my light tackle. When I feel that mango bite, I'm able to really start cranking and set that hook quickly. But if you're fishing for mangoes using sardines, how often do you guys hook into some bigger fish? Pretty often. Occasionally, you just don't know what you're going to catch. Maybe you catch a world record for you. Maybe you catch a 20-pound gag. So to be able to hit a button and downshift, it's like switching reels. All of a sudden, this high-speed gear ratio reel, when I hit the button and shift into low gear, it's like I've, uh, this is high speed, hit the button, I'm in low speed. It's like I've switched out reels. Now I've got a totally different reel in my hand and it helps me to get that fish up off the bottom more easily. So my two speed, high speed gear ratio is my first tackle setup. My second tackle setup for uh, deep water fishing would be my mid-range grouper rod. My red grouper rod, my smaller gap grouper rod, it would be my 6 op reel, my 60 to 80 pound test, same setup. Braid backing with monofilament top. Now 60 to 80 pound test, I'd be using a 6 or 8 ounce lead. My rule of thumb is my main line, I drop the zero. So if I'm using 40 pound main line, I'm using a 4 ounce lead. If I'm using 60 pound main line, I'm using a... You guys are smart. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, that's what I would be using for my uh, middle mid range, and then for the leader there, I'd be using 60 to 80 pound leader, about a seven to eight ounce circle hook. Any fish that's going to come up and swallow my bait and start running me to the rocks, I use a circle hook because when he starts cranking, I want to be able to start reeling and start gaining drag on him. All right. Now uh, for my bigger, or er, let me back up. For my mid range reel. Again, around a 6 ot and I want a medium gear ratio, a 4 to 1, 3 to 1 maybe, maybe 3.5 to 1. Now, for my third setup for deep water fishing would be my heavier tackle, my 9 ot that I was talking about before, 100 pound main line, 125 pound main line, 125 to 150 pound leader, that big hook I showed you before, a 10 or 12 ounce uh, lead, and my bigger baits. That would be my bigger setup. So those are my three bottom fishing rods. Now, I also might bring with me on a trip like that, if I'm on the slower party boats, I'd bring a trolling rod. If I'm on the Flying Hub 1 or Flying Hub 2, I don't need a trolling rod. If we're going 40 miles an hour, how the heck am I gonna troll? So I, would use, I wouldn't bring the trolling rod with me on a trip like that. But say on a 39 or 44 hour, I'd bring a trolling rod. 